I'm Lois Gresty and I'm the Location Manager and Lighting Director for Nomad. Today we're going to be spending a few hours with Stuart, our DOP, and we're going to be looking at the XF305 camera. I'm always focused on the lighting on set and trying to find the right location, but I've never actually taken into consideration the hard work it takes into learning how to use a camera and how many buttons and <laughs> things there are on a camera. So hopefully I'll be leaving today a lot more clued up and Stuart can teach me some good tips. So let's see how we get on. So everyone, this is Stuart. Hello. Our DOP, and we're going to be playing around with the XF305. That one. Yeah, that one. So let's see how we get on and if I can learn anything today. So, Stuart, how do we set up an XF305? Um, to start with, without power you aren't going to have a shot. Fair enough. Um, so, you check what you got, because otherwise if you haven't got everything you need, then what's the point? You've got to make sure you have two cards. Uh, these are CF cards, or putting it simply compact flash. Nothing now is complete without a battery. You need a battery. Most important thing, check if it's not charged. That one isn't fully charged. <laughs> so it's a perfect example. Um, always start with a fresh battery in the camera, because you don't want it running out halfway through a shot. It's never good. That way. I'll run through everything on the camera before I even go through it. Um, lens. ND filters, i.e. camera sunglasses. And automatic focus. Shutter. I still don't know what that is. Zebra lines tell you whether it's overexposed or not. Uh, waveform, I never use is not really much point in the way for and then gain generally should be set to low otherwise you start getting very fuzzy images this is the problem with <laughs> cameras there's loads of tech and loads of info but it's I know. making it simple that's the hard bit there's so it much to take in i'm getting confused yeah so is it very important to be a camera operator on set um i mean if you haven't got a camera you haven't got a film i mean you could have a film it's animated so I suppose there's that, but if you're filming a feature or anything like that, or a documentary, it's a bit useless without video. And as much as people say sound is the most important part of a shoot, which it is, the next most important thing is visuals. I know, it's the watch. film, you don't have a good picture really. Yeah. It's like we see all those YouTube yeah. videos, just like, Bleh, just running around. <laughs> like this one. But yeah, honestly, like, I never knew the ins and outs of a camera before yeah. talking to you, and it's obviously very important because look at all the buttons on this. I, yeah, mean, I mean, I can't explain all those buttons in this video, I mean, we try to keep it. <laughs> Sure, I mean, if I had to explain all this, it would take hours, but um. But yeah, personally, as much as you know, this is very interesting and there's a lot of buttons and a lot of technicals, I think I prefer the research side of things, the location. So I think I'm going to stick to that. As much fun as this looks, it's a bit technical for me. I'll give it to Stuart. <laughs> he knows yeah. how to work it better. Oh, yeah. But yeah, thank you for coming and showing me a little bit into the life of a cameraman. No. Me and my new best pal. Turn the camera. <laughs>